back the floor to ceiling pale blue silk brocade drapes on her bedroom window as lightning illuminated the dark sky and rain fell in sheets to the ground. Thunder blasted through the silence, sending reverberations through her slender body. She peered through the darkness and watched as the last set of taillights turned out of the drive. It seemed as if the night would never end, but finally, everyone was gone. The party was over. There had been a time when she found it exciting and fun to attend and host such gala events. She enjoyed mingling with politicians and celebrities. She loved the glamorous gowns, the sparkling jewels, the opulent atmosphere, live orchestra, and the dancing. It had been like a fairy tale. The poor rural girl meets rich benefactor who sweeps her off her feet, showers her with riches, and lavishes her with loving attention. Once she was emotionally invested and was deeply in love, she found out about his wife. At first she thought she could live the lifestyle of a mistress, but she realized deep in her heart she wasn't that type of person. It wasn't real. Could she do it? Could she really leave him? She had to leave him. While he may love her, he was still married and would never leave his wife. What would she do? Where would she go? Yes, she would sell all the jewels he gave her. No, yes, she had to. It was the only way she could make it. As Evelyn pulled away from the window, the drapes fell back to cover the night with a soft whis whisper. She kicked off her black high heels, her feet sinking into the plush carpet. She paced restlessly back and forth, her brow furrowed. She was determined yet fearful of what independence might bring. She could get a job at the plane factory. There were plenty of jobs available for women since the young men went off to war. She could do it. She was no stranger to hard work. Yes, that's what she would do. But how could she leave the love of her life? As Evelyn absently picked up her ebony cigarette holder, embellished with diamonds and inserted a camel in the end, she smelled the rich, intoxicating aroma of her lover's favorite Cuban cigar wafting into the room. Please give me the strength, she muttered under her breath as she placed her cigarette holder to her ruby red lips and inhaled deeply of the sweet Turkish tobacco. With her heart pounding in her chest, she gathered her resolve and turned defiantly to the door where her gaze instantly locked with that of her lover. Ray stared at the vision before him. The seditious creature was absolutely stunning in her black satin gown, garnished with bright, brilliant diamonds and silver beads on gossamer ribbon that adorned her creamy white shoulders, then crossed her back and wrapped around under her breast, empire style. She stood before him, one arm hugging her waist and the other cocked at the elbow, gripping her cigarette holder between her black satin-covered fingers. Within the soft lamplight, she sparkled and shimmered like the late afternoon sun dancing through the branches of an aspen grove. Darling, you are brilliant tonight, Ray said in his low, sexy baritone voice. He walked into the room to the makeshift bar on the side table where he put out a cigar and poured two glasses of scotch. Everyone is captivated by you, Ray handed her a glass. He knew what she was up to. He could easily read her emotions on her face. Besides, he had been through this with through this before with his other paramours, and he vowed that he would not let her, his love, slip through his fingers. He slowly raised his glass to his mouth and drained the scotch in one gulp. Ray, I need to tell you, Evelyn began. Shh, Evie, he soothed. Setting his glass down, he slowly walked over to, the, over to her and took the glass from one shaking hand, and from her other took her cigarette holder and placed it in the crystal ashtray. <laughs> then, grasping her hand in his, he quickly spun her around so her back was to his chest. He wrapped his arms loosely around her slim body, resting his strong hands on her flat stomach. He lazily traced gentle circles against her satin-covered skin with his thumb, sending shivers of anticipation to course through her body. You mean the world to me, Ray murmured as he sprinkled her neck with velvety soft kisses. Ray, listen, please, Evelyn pleaded breathlessly. She was tempted, so tempted. She had to resist. She truly had to. Evie raised fingers, slowly skimmed up her arm, brushed over her shoulders, down her neck, and then cupped his hand over her breast. I know what you want to do, but know this, darling. I love you, and I'll do everything I can to keep you, he whispered into her ear. Let me worry about our future. Ray, your whatever she was about to say was cut off as he suddenly twisted her around and covered her mouth with his. He thrust his hands into her thick black hair, tossing hairpins to the floor so that it was flowing down her back. She was drowning in his kiss. At first, he was gentle yet playful. 
nipping at her lips. Then as passion grew, hers grew as well, and she responded passionately to him. As she felt need pul pulsing through her body, she thought desperately of her desire to leave. It wasn't too late. She could still stop this. Evie, he sighed as he broke the kiss and led her to the luxurious king-size bed. Promise me you'll stay, Ray pleaded, looking deeply into his, her beautiful green eyes as he unzipped the back of her gown. He dipped his head and tantalized her further with light feathery kisses along the neck line of her gown as he slipped his fingers under the shoulder straps and pushed it off. All resistance was gone. She was lost to his need, his love. As her gown pulled to the floor around her ankles, she wrapped her black satin gloved arms around Ray's neck and pressed her body close to his. I love you, she whispered, and placed her lips on his. With that, she decided to sleep on it. There was always tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>